On behalf of English House, this is Ashwati Dinan, a TEDx speaker, language coach and trainer. Have you ever wondered why your English is not improving? Now, if you belong to that category, I am going to tell you four reasons why your English is not improving. Reason number one, lack of practice. The only way to learn English is by practicing. A lot of times, we want to improve our English, but we are not ready to speak the language. And in that bargain, we tend to lose out on precious time, which we can use to start speaking the language. So practice, practice, practice. Whichever venue you get, whichever occasion you get, or get use, make use of some buddies or friends with whom you can speak in English. So the only way that you can master the language is through practice. Reason number two, lack of patience. We are all living in this era where we want things really fast. We want slimming tablets that will make us thin very fast. We want cosmetic creams that will make us fair in a week. And we want language classes which will make us fluent English speakers in a month. It does not happen like that. Have you seen how babies learn to walk? They crawl, they fall. They sit, they fall. They stand, they fall. And then they start walking. This is almost like that. So it takes a lot of time for you to be a fluent speaker. So you have to keep practicing and invest a lot of your time and energy to make yourself a good English speaker. So patience is definitely a very important virtue that you need to develop if you want to improve your English. Reason number three, fear of failure. You know, a lot of times when we speak in public, we are quite scared in the first place to speak in public because we think people will make fun of us. And it does happen a lot of times. A lot of college students come to me and tell me that they don't speak English because they are scared that their friends will make fun of them and tell them, oh, so you're living in a foreign land. Good to hear you speak English and such comments. So what? Why are you so worried about what people think? Now, what is the reason or why do you want to be a good English speaker? Is it for your friends? Is it for people around you? Is it for your society? No, it's for you. So think about the priority. Think about why you want to speak good English and do not be scared of failure. Failure is the only way, way that you will start learning English. And do not be scared of people who mock you, people who make fun of you, because at the end of the day, when you start speaking good English, you can have the last laugh. Now, reason number four, prioritizing. In life, if you want to reach a goal, you have to give priorities for a goal. Imagine that you have two balloons in your hand. Trying to balance just one balloon and not letting it go on the floor is easy. But trying to balance both the balloons and making sure that both don't touch the floor is quite a difficult task. So when learning English is not your priority and you have other priorities in life, balancing it with other priorities one might touch the floor so maybe you it's not a priority for you speaking in english so if you want to be a good speaker and a good language speaker and you're looking at a time span in which you can achieve that skill i think your number one priority should be the language english and how you are going to master the language so we've spoken about four reasons today why your English is not improving. You might want to look into all of this and see whether one of this works for you or is not working for you. So I wish that you take all these tips, work on all of this, and very soon you are going to be that dream fluent speaker that you've been dreaming all this long.